Hello everyone. If you have watched my previous video, then you already know that you know I am starting a small handmade business. I wanted to document everything that I do during uh, this journey and show it to you guys. Today is June first, twenty twenty one. Since today is the first day, I have a lot of planning to do, and I have to order few stuff, so that is exciting. I also have to make logo and business card, and what else? I have to make flat sketches for what I'll be doing for this collection. Once I'm done with all of this, I also have to stitch a top for a brand and make a reel for it and send it to them. I'm excited, and this being the first step, I am. super pumped so yeah i guess i'll be having a lot of tea to keep me you know going first thing first let me show you guys what are the things that i'll be ordering i have to mostly order uh, shipping uh, materials because i don't have any of that i'll be pretty much ordering everything on amazon so it is easy and convenient to order everything in one website i'll be ordering this packaging cover When I was adding this to the cart, I also saw uh, thank you stickers. I initially thought I'll make this by myself, but it takes a lot of time. I guess I'll order it, and I see there are really good reviews, and I like the color as well. So I'm gonna order that. I also want um, elastic thread to make few tops, so that's going into the cart. So those are the only basic things that I needed, but I also ended up ordering something else, which is. not actually needed and that is rotary cutter and obviously i have to buy a mat for that so i bought cutting mat as well all this while i have only used shears to cut fabrics but i have heard that rotary cutter is very convenient when you have to cut straps or you know when you have to cut satin fabrics something about stationery is um, i just get way too excited i just can't buy what is needed i always end up buying more than what is needed yes i am a stationery and fabric hoarder so i'm going to go ahead and order all of this now that i'm done with the retail therapy i am going to make logo and business card i'm not pretty sure whether i'll be printing the business card but i do like the idea of you know uh, making it i mean if i'm making a logo i might as well do the business card because i want the color scheme to be the same i'll just make it i'm not sure whether i'll print it or not i decide that later last year i made this one i'm not liking it anymore so i guess i'll make a new one this time i want to make it little colorful and i want some abstract detail and i want it to look cool i know most of the people use photoshop and illustrator to make the business cards and logo but that takes a lot of time and i'm not really in the mood to you know spend a lot of time making it so i opted for canva canva is really easy to use they already have a lot of templates so hopefully it will be easy to make one and this is the end result i'm pretty happy how it looks it's very simple very minimalistic and uh, i like the color palette and the main reason i went for this color palette is because i had already ordered the thank you stickers which i showed before um i thought why not go with the same color palette and also i like this color palette i'm not crazy about you know peach uh, tones but I don't know I'm kind of liking it so I went ahead and did everything in the same color palette hopefully next time I'll get the stickers done um you know based on the logo that I've made I'll also show you guys the fabric that I'll be using I already have all this fabric which I got long back so I have this lovely fabric this is something that I picked up uh, from Tumkur I got a dress stitch and I have remaining fabric I will be using this to make bustier and then i have this lovely fabric this is something i got from and the rest of the fabrics like this one and this one and this one literally rest everything are from um shivaji nagar which i got long back I have bought it over the period of time. I got few of them when I was in college, which I have never really used, and few are something that I picked up like one year before. 
um, and few are just the fabrics that I have which are like cut pieces I got a skirt done out of this but this is such a lovely fabric so I'm thinking I'll make like a bow or something out of it and then I have this remaining fabric which will be perfect for scrunchies or um, I don't know I'll figure out something for this all of these fabrics are cotton or you know cotton blend only these two are not cotton so since I already have it I might as well use it but I'll try to use mostly cotton initially I thought I'll only make tops but now I'm thinking I must make at least two to three dresses just to have a mix today is such a gloomy day it's boring but the weather is really good and it's so cozy that I'm not in the mood to make any flat sketches today so I guess I'll finish the talk that I was talking and I also have to edit the video the announcement video of me starting um, the small business video which will already be you know up by the time you watch this video um, I'll show you guys what I've been working on the talk that I was talking about so this is the top that I have been working on. The fabric is from Fabriclore and if you want to buy fabric from Fabriclore, you can use my code to get 10% discount. I'll leave the link for that in the description below so you can use that. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.